the 1930s, a time known in history as the Great Depression era. It started after the stock market crash of October 29, 1929, also known as Black Tuesday. Not only were the country's economics not around, neither were women in the Corps after they were moved to inactive status in 1919. Despite the Great Depression causing an extremely high unemployment rate and economic struggles, while the Dust Bowl was destroying the agriculture, some positive things happened during this time. This is the Marine Corps through the decades. The 1930s were known for jazz music, swing dancing, and the prohibition coming to an end, allowing alcohol to be transported and sold legally in the U.S. It also was a golden age for Hollywood, releasing films like Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, The Wizard of Oz, and Gone with the Wind. Although women were not in the core during the 30s, they were still making a difference. Famous women during this time were actresses like Judy Garland and Shirley Temple, who took the entertainment industry by storm, and trailblazers like Amelia Earhart, and Eleanor Roosevelt. Amelia Earhart was an American aviation pioneer, author, and first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean, while Eleanor Roosevelt, wife of the 32nd U.S. President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, redefined the role of the First Lady. She held her own press conferences, traveled to all parts of the country independently, and broadcasted radio addresses. Is she also a newspaper columnist? Yes. Is it Mrs. Franklin Delano Roosevelt? Mrs. Franklin Delano Roosevelt! Although women did not have a large role in the Corps during the 1930s, massive change for women in the military was coming in the 40s. 